If you've been working on growing your online business for any length of time, you have heard about the importance of email marketing. It still is the holy grail of internet sales marketing, period. But with that comes some players in this space that don't play by the right rules. They play by a set of rules that are annoying. So in this video, I wanna talk about how to not use email marketing to grow your business. And I'm gonna give you a couple of examples of how I have been on the receiving end of bad email marketing. And then I'm gonna show you how to do it the right way and draw some very clear distinctions. By the end of this video, you're gonna have a clear path of exactly what we mean when we say build an email list and market to that list and what these other guys are doing that is not that and is annoying and is missing a key component of this whole thing. So you're gonna know what they don't know and you'll be more equipped to build a business than these people who are in business. If that doesn't make sense yet, it will by the end of this video. If you're new here, my name's Lane. I love to help digital entrepreneurs start and grow their passive income style online businesses. If you are into that, be sure to subscribe and go to lanesebring.com slash super simple. Pick up your free super simple guide to your first $500 online. That is a step-by-step -step guide for how to start and grow an online course business where you can begin to make content and build an audience around your unique skill set, and then offer courses and coaching around that and make a great living and retire to the beach like I did and am. Then you can retire on any beach you want. So back to what we're talking about today. I love email marketing. I think it's the most effective way to get conversions, which is a fancy way of saying sell stuff. Because when people are in their inbox, there is a much more higher likelihood of them making a buying decision than even over text or especially social media. There's just something magic about email marketing. But the way to do this right is a certain process that you must go through that is somewhat lengthy and somewhat arduous, but if you go through this process, it works like it's supposed to. It's a simple process. It starts with content that proves your worth as a problem solver, because that's what we do in business. We solve problems. It just so happens that the problems that we're solving have to do with teaching people how to do things, how to know things that they need to know, to do the things they need to know. So we're helping people solve a knowledge problem, but it's still a problem and we're still solving it. So our content is demonstrating our worthiness as problem solvers. That content leads them to our email list where we can then provide them with even more value, solve even more problems on a more intimate level, and then that can lead to offering them our products and services, coaching, consulting, membership site, affiliate products, whatever the case may be. So it's content that leads to your email list that leads to products and offers. That's really it. If you do this right, your content kind of does the heavy lifting for you. Your content is what people interact with voluntarily because they go to the platform that your content is on. If it's YouTube, for example, they search, how do I do this? How do I do that? I'm stuck here, I need to figure this out. And on the other end of those questions, they find you and they go, wow, you've helped me. You've helped me solve this problem. I like you, I know you and I trust you. Uh, thanks for trusting me. Oh, you want to offer me something even better? And to, to get that thing, I just have to put in my email address and you'll give me that free thing? Well, your content's been awesome. I want the free thing. I'll give you my email address. Boom. Boom. Now I'm on your email list. Oh, and you have paid products? Well, if your content is this good and the free resource you gave me served me this well, then I'm going to probably check out your paid content to see if it can help me too. And there you have it. We have an email marketing sequence that works. Now, that's the way that we are supposed to do it. It's the way that works. It's the way that is the least annoying and offensive to people. Now, I will say some people are going to be annoyed and offended no matter what you do. I'm not talking about those people. I am talking about reasonable people who understand that your content does lead to something deeper that costs money. People who don't understand that drive me crazy. I have four kids and a golden retriever and a wife. I don't do this out of the kindness of my heart. I do this both to serve people and to make money. And you should have the same motivations as well. So yes, eventually it leads to something that you pay for. But again, 
It's all voluntary. The content is voluntary. You can watch it or not watch it. The lead magnet's voluntary. You can download it or not download it. And the paid products are voluntary. You can buy them or not buy them. Win, win, win. That's the way it's supposed to work. Now, the way that it works that's annoying is when somebody emails you because they see that you're in business and they tell you how they can help you. And the way they do it is kind of insulting. I will give you an example of what happens to me, what shows up in my email inbox about four times a day. This exact template happens because some internet marketer, usually someone who has a, they can grow you on YouTube, they can help you with your social media strategy, they can make better thumbnails, they go to my YouTube channel, they find my email address, and they email me this. Let's get ready to listen quietly. And I actually wrote this out so that I could really drill down on the exact flow that these emails take. So let's read this together. I get an unsolicited email from people complimenting my work, then they insult my work, then they say they can help me. The emails read something like this. Hey Lane, I was on your YouTube channel recently and I must say, I was rather impressed. Your videos really stand out, but I also noticed that your work kind of sucks too. Your views are low, your engagement is terrible, and your face is ugly. What? 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 I can help you get more views. I made a few thumbnails for you that don't suck like the crappy ones that you make. Just simply reply to this email and I'll shoot over the zip file that's filled with wonder. All the best internet marketer. That's the first email, okay? So right away, I don't know this person. They don't know anything about me. They haven't proven a thing to me. I've not seen a, an ounce of their work, but they have somehow done something that they're holding back for me. And to get my attention, they tell me, hey, you could get more views, you could get more subscribers, you could not suck so bad, and I could help you do that. Oh, by the way, I do like your channel, but it could be better. It's just annoying. Now, most of the time, because again, I get about four of these a day, I basically just ignore them. So here's the second email that comes through. I ignore the first email. They follow up a couple days later and they change the subject line to my name, Lane, with two question marks. So it just says, Lane, are you there? <laughs> That's the subject line. And they say, I noticed that you are okay with a sucky channel and a sucky brand and an unsuccessful existence. I'll leave you alone for now, but if you want to stop being such a loser, reply to this email and I'll help you out with my completely untested, totally unknown marketing solutions. I added that last part in myself. So basically they just say, hey, where are you? You're not replying to my email. Keep in mind, I never subscribed. I don't know who this person is. I did not opt into this. They have not given me an option to opt out. They've only told me to reply and they'll send me this zip folder that has this amazing template that they made or amazing thumbnail that they made and I don't know anything about this person and they're clogging up my inbox. Can you see how this is different than the process I laid out? The process I laid out is they find your content, they get your lead magnet, they opt into your email list, they get those emails, they decide to buy or they decide to unsubscribe. It's totally voluntary on them the whole way. And the second they hit unsubscribe, you stop bothering them, the system shuts it all down. They no longer get your emails. If you're using something like Kajabi, it's super easy. There's a little button down below. By the way, if you're not on Kajabi, you totally should be lanesebring.com slash Kajabi, 30 day free trial, 45 minute one-on-one -on -one Zoom call with me, free course, all that, lanesebring.com slash Kajabi. But if you're using a platform like Kajabi, all of this is super easy. But that pathway that I laid out is decidedly different than this. Like this sucks. <laughs> like this is not the way to do it. Okay, so the third email, they say, Lane, it's been a while. This is about three days later. Perhaps we got off on the wrong foot. Perhaps you insist on settling for mediocrity, but I can still help you if you only find the will to humbly reply and request my assistance. This is the last time you'll be hearing from me. They always say that, they never mean it. I can only offer help. I can't make a deficient loser make a situation. <laughs> this is so good. I can only offer help I can't make a deficient loser make his situation better. That's on you, my friend. All the best, 
internet marketer. P.S. If you know anyone in need of marketing help, like maybe one of your loser friends, feel free to forward this email. That is not good email marketing. It's lazy and it relies on just blasting out a ton of emails to see who might take the bait. What I would suggest is start making content showing your work. Reach out to the people that you want to serve but do it with your content. Let them find you. If your content speaks for itself, what happens is if you have this service that provides help with YouTube growth, help with business growth, help with marketing, whatever the case may be, and they see your results in your content, how incredibly you can charge so much more because you have proven your worth. You aren't gonna have to reach out to people. You're gonna have a wait list of clients. You're gonna be able to be picky and choosy about who you work with and how you work with them. Don't settle for reaching out via email to people who have no idea who you are. Get some case studies, share those on social, build a platform around it, make content. Content is the tool, it is the key that unlocks all of this. Make content, it proves your worth. And if you wanna go further with this and try to figure out a good content plan, I have a playlist for you right here, click on it. It will show you how to put together a good content plan and make your content work so that people are attracted to it. So click right there, I'll see you in that playlist and we'll talk more about how all of this fits together.